Okay, y'all, during my Christmas break or winter break from school, I finally made it to Power Hour, which is a special hour of sales at a local thrift. Let's see what I got. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with, uh, as I said in the beginning, a little thrift haul from a thrift store called Diversity here in Richmond, Virginia. And they do twice a week, they do a sale called Power Hour um, on Tuesdays from 4 to 5 p.m. All clothing is a dollar a piece. Doesn't matter. All clothing is a dollar a piece. Doesn't include shoes, nothing like that. Just clothes. And then they do it again on Friday from 10 until 11. Now, the cool thing about Tuesday, you can get there at 2. If you want to shop for two hours, as long as you check out between 4 and 5, you'll get everything for a dollar a piece. The crazy thing about Friday is they don't open till 10. So, <laughs> from 10 to 11, all clothes are, are a dollar but you gotta be in line ready to check out before 11. So you're not getting a ton of time to look around and shop. I feel like I just made my glasses worse. But I think this was a Tuesday that I went on um, on my day, one of my days off while I was out from school for winter break. So let's see what I got. Um, first thing I'm pulling out though is for my classroom. And it's just a, a picture um, I will find a frame for this and hang it up in my classroom. Um, this is, don't want to say it's Renoir. Well, I mean, of course, not a real one, but a reprint of a Renoir. And this, uh, this specific painting, I don't know the name of it, is, uh, probably like in the National Gallery of Art. So yeah, I mean, $7 is a lot for a thrift store painting, but I will find, I'll measure, find a great frame for it at a thrift store, hanging up in my room, and I like decorating my room with things like that. Okay, so every piece of clothing you see is going to be a dollar. Um, first thing is this corduroy unstructured blazer, three button, uh, three button is not in style, but corduroy is, um, and it's this, it's a really fine corduroy. So what I think is called like pin whale. So corduroy is, is in whales. And I think when it's this, this, um, fine, it's pin whale because it's as thin as a pin. This is Lane Bryant and it is a size 20. So nice gray corduroy, um, unstructured blazer, academia, um, kind of vibes right there. And then another one, <laughs> we got another one in blue, same thing, pin whale. They rolled the cuffs up on this, but, um, I guess you could wear it either way. I don't see why not. Um, but same, same thing. You've got these metal buttons unstructured blazer is it three yeah it's three buttons on the front um and this is is this yeah that's a pinwheel also um very fine and it's another size 20 navy blue so good basic wardrobe staples giving off the academia vibes okay love this Fingers crossed, it does have some marks on it. I'm hoping I can get them out. This is like a little trench coat. Still has the belt. Kind of a little flare look at the bottom. Thick, heavy, um, a beautiful leaf motif inside. Not that anybody would see that. And it is an anthropology brand. 11z's um and it is a us4 you can see it's been dry cleaned and so that was a dollar the only problem 
right there is a little bit of some kind of mark. So fingers crossed, I can get that mark out. I thought for a dollar, it is definitely worth trying. It's got a couple up here on the shoulder, a couple little marks there. So I, in my opinion, for a dollar, it is definitely worth trying to get those marks out um, because this is a well-made piece and it is just, like I said, I just think it's classic, it's beautiful, and um, I need to try to save this. So, there we go. And I just noticed right here, which this is an easy, easy fix. The belt loop is coming undone a little bit. We'll just pull that in tight and give it a couple more stitches so that it will stay. Not a hard fix there. Okay. What have I got? Oh, first time ever finding this brand. This is a men's polo shirt. It's got this hilarious flamingo on it. And if you see on the sleeve, oh, let me see if I can get there. It says Chubbies. So um, I know their men's swimsuits do well. I'm not sure about the polos, but I did grab it. It's my first time finding it. It's got this cool pink and white print on like a black polo. Really like it. It's made out of like athletic material. So I did like that. All right, this feels lovely. Ah, yes, okay. So we've got a almost like a floral paisley print. Let me see, does it have another button up here? So that it'll look like something when I'm holding it up and not like absolute craziness. All right, let's hold you. Hang on, is there another button? No, there is not. All right, so we've got this, this beautiful top. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Long sleeve and it feels wonderful. It is a Chico's size two, which is about a large, um, I'm guessing on there. Ooh, I can't read any of the writing on that. Um, <laughs> it's like tone on tone. It's really difficult to read. And it is 100% polyester, but I do, I do okay with these like, wilder i guess chico's prints um so yeah for a dollar pick that up seven for all mankind jeans not a great pickup um they are a size 25 like i'm sitting there going why did i get these i don't know but i did oh i know why i got them now i know Here's the back pocket. It's got a little bit of embroidery on it. I got them because they are a like boot cut or flare leg on the bottom, which is still having its moment in um, current fashion. So, and like I said, a size 25, not the greatest size, but we got them. And I was trying to see if I could figure out what the style name was, but it's pretty rubbed off, but that's okay. That's all right. I think 15 to 20, like I said, I don't think uh, Seven for All Mankind does very well anymore. So, all right. Okay, like picking this brand up. This is Duluth Trading size large this is just a women's almost like a henley it's got several buttons um long sleeve t-shirt it's a basic um you know maybe about 15 18 dollars for that oh these felt so good when i grabbed them um and again a brand i've never found before the tag is has like come off of one corner, 
but it says the group Babaton. So these are Babaton. These are X, X, extra, extra small. And they're like leggings, very thick. They have this like tuxedo, as you know, a tuxedo stripe down the side, but it's more like a little ribbed panel that acts as a tuxedo stripe on the side almost. Um, good thick waistband, army green kind of color or olive green color. So yeah, um, I don't know anything about this brand. I just know that I've heard, you know, good things about it as far as being a good brand to resell. So, um, a dollar. Okay. So I had, uh, I didn't even check gums because I didn't think I could lose for a dollar. Okay. I love this one. Let's see. All right. This is a size large RVCA. I think some people say Ruka. I always just say the letters RVCA. I don't know. But um, it's, I think they're considered athletic wear. And I really liked the mushrooms and the little yin and yang. And it is a size large t-shirt, just a basic tee. I think it might have a tiny bleach spot somewhere. I'll just note it. I'll note it. I think the mushrooms will sell. Yep, yep, here's the tiny little bleach spot down at the hem. So I don't think that's a big deal. Oh. oh, yeah, I was excited to find this. I don't know how well it will do, but this is a short sleeve, basic brown blouse, woman's button down, and it is by Everlane. Now, um, I, and it's a size 12, I don't have very much luck finding and or selling Everlane jeans. Um, so why did I pick up the blouse? <laughs> I just did. I want to say, all right, it is 100% triacetate. I don't know what triacetate is, but, um, you know, sometimes you just, you hear people have a lot of luck with a certain brand and you just keep picking it up and you don't know why. And that could be it. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I think we've got one more piece of clothing and then we might have some stuffed animals all right oh we got a bra again um i think yeah this is the rvca brand and it's a large athletic bra or sports bra maybe athleisure so yeah dollar um so you know even if i sold each piece for 15 I'm still doing well okay stuffed animals stuffed animals there they keep bins of them at the front. They sell them for a dollar a piece. If, if you pick one up out of there that's kind of small, they'll knock the price down. You know, if you if I hold up stuffed animals, I'm like, this one's really small. They'll go, okay, 50 cents. Okay, a quarter. But one's like this, you know, a dollar a piece. So look at him. Look at that beautiful little face. Um, This is Aurora. He is going to be basic price, maybe maybe ten dollars maybe twelve um but yeah i i um i'm having i have fun still selling stuffed animals all right easter's coming you know i gotta pick up a bunny rabbit or two so here's a cute little bunny he's hug fun again he's going to just be a you know not a huge um not a huge money maker but because Easter's coming up, I thought it would be a good time to pick up a bunny. All right. Another horse. <laughs> another horse. He lays down. He's so pretty. And he's another Aurora. So he's a pretty horse. Um, I, I don't know. Just pick him up. Um, Again, usually most of these are probably... 10, 12, something like that. And then we have a dog, a black puppy dog with a scarf. So I'll put on there like black lab. Um, 
I do pretty good selling dogs that uh, look like they're a real person. I mean real person, like a real type of dog. And this dog's name, still got this tag on it, Ginger. And um, it's a Russ. This is a Russ dog. So I think this one is probably vintage, but it's absolutely in beautiful shape. And again, not a ton of money, but um, very cute. Look at his ear. <laughs> I think it's supposed to sit like this and I love it. Usually I pick up animals and I go, oh, or I laugh and that's when I buy them and sell them. Is if I <laughs> laugh and yeah, anyway. That's everything. That was a short one, but um, you know, I wasn't just out there buying everything just because it was a dollar a piece. I was trying to make decent decisions on what I picked up, and um, yeah. So there we go. There you have it. I went to Power Hour. I didn't go crazy, but I got to say, I went to Power Hour. So. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'm working my way up to um, that magic 1000 number. And if you like reseller content, this is a great channel. I do thrift hauls, I do mystery boxes, um, and I do what sold videos. So if that's things that are up your alley, it's a good reason to subscribe. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.